NBC Theatre has a 57-year legacy. We don't think of ourselves as just, well, we're the musical theatre company or a contemporary comedy company. We do classical plays. We have a long, long history of uh, theatre for young audiences. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. The idea being that theatre is a place where families can, can come and share an experience and have something to talk about afterwards. It's also important for our students um, and the people of the community to get a broad range of exposure to different genres and styles and forms of drama. And when we kick off, boy. In each season, there's a good representation of types and styles and genres of plays. Get right down the field under the ball, and when you hit, hit low and hit hard, The day wouldn't come when I wouldn't want to know everything about our town. The last time I demand to take back everything you just said. In my view, the two of you are an aberration. A pair of fossils. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. With the involvement of the community, our students get the opportunity to work with somebody who their age appropriate for a role. When such a bear is as salty and surprises, I'm more willing. And when I do, rather than putting a 19 year old kid in a wig and a beard uh, having them doing their version of a, a 60 year old person, we can get an actual 60 year old person. And that creates a sense of reality. Community involvement has a very enriching educational benefit. Remember the letter came for you, Grandpa? Did you get it? What was it? United States government. Gotcha. And they are students. Every community member that performs on our stage or works on our crew is enrolled in a class. We're really proud of our musical theater tradition and our history. Uh, I think people associate MPC probably most closely with our musical theater productions. But the Community College District in Monterey is facing a two and a half million dollar deficit. So MPC theater lost 80% of its operating budget. We need our community to stand behind us financially, not just make donations, but to go out for us and solicit donations. If you're able to give $1,000, who do you know that can also give $1,000? If you're able to give something like $5,000 and make a matching grant, you give $5,000, if somebody will match that $5,000. If you know somebody who owns a business who would be willing to sponsor a production or some facet of a production, those are the kind of contacts we need. We really need the support of our community. We need their support, we need their loyalty, um, and I think we need their patience while we figure out what's going on.